gearbox casing. It's not the most amazing, super awesome metal in the world, but it looks like it's going to be just fine. Um, it's 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 hidden inside the gun. It doesn't need to look pretty. If 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 I if anything, I would say that if it did look very nice and lovely and shiny and smooth, then they've probably been putting their sort of uh, their machine time and their priorities and material usage in the wrong places. So I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, I can't do a shooting test just now, like I say, but I'm sure that will be coming up later on. Um, as to why I bought this particular model, um, like I say, I've got some big plans for this. Yeah, I'm not sure if some of you who often frequent eHobby Asia's uh, website, their store, may have seen the uber raped uh, M4 AK, M4 times AK they called it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a similar heathenish uh, thing to this particular gun just because of all the purists and all they do is mo you put a wrist on an AK, you put an M4 stock on an AK. Who cares? It's airsoft. Don't look at the picture if you don't like it. Get a grip. So I'm mostly going to be doing that just to annoy them. But also this is my this is the first for me, like I mentioned, it's the first AK I've had. And basically I think in stock form AK 74s, AK 47s, any kind of clash of gold. I think the ergonomics are pretty rubbish. It was designed, I mean, you know, Mr. Kalashnikov probably started coming up with ideas when he was still fighting in World War II. It's quite, quite ancient. And, I mean, for, you can't lock the bolt back, you can't operate the fire selector without taking the hand off fire control. That's not very good. Um, you can't really operate the charge under very well under certain situations. It's very long. There's there's not much you can customise on a stock sort of AK forty seven. You can't it's not quick or easy certainly um, compared to a lot of other guns out there to change the handguard or the stock or various other options. I mean it all depends on your opinion but compared to some AR fifteen ver versions, stuff like that, I find that Ergonomically, they're not that great. Um, on the plus side, I like the fact that they're very thin in that duck profile. M4s are a lot wider and they're very pointable in terms of that. So they're not all bad. I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, the sort of person. M4s are the only good gun. That's that's not how I operate. I try and stay open minded. And for everyone else on there that likes stock AKs, you crack on. That's awesome. Um, on the airsoft side of things, that's what airsoft is about. We have all these different replicas made by loads of different companies for a reason, so that you can say, right, I want a stock sort of AK, and that's what you buy. And if someone else says, well, I want an LH5, and someone else says, I want uh, an FN2000, FN, F2000 even, you know, ped pedants out there, I, yeah, I caught myself. Um, so yeah, just you do what you like, but personally, I'm going to be raping this thing into next week just because I like the, the aspect of airsoft that is taking guns apart, taking off the stocks and the handguards and the grips and the selectors and the magazine catches and everything like that and just changing it all around. That is what I enjoy. And then I like to take it to the, my skirmish game, to my site and use it and see if it works. And if it doesn't, buy some other parts and change it around more. Um, and just just try, and, try and make something a bit different basically. So that's the King Arms AK-74M from UN Company, $218, cracking deal, I think. Um, and it's going to be my base gun for a future project of mine that I will hopefully be finishing in roughly a month from now. Uh, so I'll probably be posting another video in a month when I've been paid again and uh, bought all the other parts to change this thing around. Um, as for... Cyma Cyro. Um, there's a, there's not that many options around for optics on AKs, certainly compared to M4s. Um, and well, a lot of guns really get getting 
just the optic setup and one, it can be tricky, particularly if you, like me, you play with magnified optics, things like ACOGs and red dots with a magnifier behind them, that sort of stuff. Because when with those sort of on, your eye relief on those is quite short, your your eyeball is going to be pretty close to the back lens of that optic. It's not like a you know a, a red dot, an aim point, a T1, an EOTech, whatever you use, where you can be like and the red dot can be all the way out here. That's fine on a, on a, a zero time magnification. It doesn't really work with an LCAN or an ACOG. So with those sort of things, you've got to have. If you're here, that lens has got to be about there. I mean, it can't. It just can't be all the way up there. You're never really going to be able to use it. So, this particular sort of rail mount is one of only two rail, you know, 20 millimeter Picatinny standard rail mounts I'm aware of for AKs within the airsoft world, at any rate, that allow you to put a mount all the way back there. So you can get your eye to it. The other one is one that um, I was going to go for. It's made Simon make one um, that has, fits a rail. It attaches to the trunnion there, replaces this rear sight, attaches to this sort of area back here as well, and it puts a rail all the way over the top of the top cover. But I couldn't find in the stock anyway. So as I mentioned, I'll be installing the AK side rail on there and putting on the Simon mount. Um, now, the reason I'm going to these lengths and buying this AK, even though it hasn't got a side rail, when I could have got one that did have the side rail, was because this particular brand of AK is fairly standard um, Tokyo Marui spec in terms of the body, the way the stock attaches, the way the front set attaches, it's pretty similar to the TM. And in some ways that's not good, it's not very realistic, it's not very close to the real thing, which is something I don't like. But because I want to change all those parts, and because the adapter for the front end and the adapter for the stock, the King Arms um, makes the stock adapter and Action make the uh, AK front end adapter, they are designed for the TM spec bodies. This is a TM spec, it's cheap, it's got a metal receiver, unlike buying a TM AK. So that is why I went for that. Um, the only issue was finding uh, that rail mount to sit further back which is what I needed so uh, yeah what's wrong with that there's lots of other wrist mats you can get you know the old Ultimac rails or lots of lots of Chinese made AKs come with a wrist up handguard there's various kinds of those um, there's all sorts of real steel ones that replace the top part of the handguard and the lower part with a nice rail section but they're only going to be, they're only be any good yeah, put an EOTech on there if you're playing CQB or you don't want magnification, that'll be great because they're still going to be able to use it all the way up there. That's going to be fine. If it's going to be no good, put your ACOG up there. So, the, uh, there's very few options, as I mentioned, for getting a magnified optic on an AK. So, I picked up a side rail, got my side rail for the rail mount, uh, if that makes any sense on its way and uh, yeah, give it a few weeks and hopefully this gun will be done um, I've got a couple more orders on the way but like I mentioned I've got, uh, one from WGC that's going to be quite a big one lots of parts, magazines, stuff like that in there uh, I've got a few pouches on their way from SKD Tactical um, possibly a few other bits and pieces I can't quite remember off the top of my head but I will be continuing in the uh, the theme of this video. I'll be unboxing them all and going through why I bought those. And hopefully, some of you out there who are possibly thinking similar things, you know, maybe I want to do uh, part of what that guy's doing. Um, you know, not necessarily all of it, but maybe just a little bit. I'm going to change. I want to slightly change an AK around, or I want some, you know. I'm gonna, it could be anything really. The, the uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> ah, oh God, yeah. The future videos I'll be doing will be covering all sorts of different parts I've bought, why I bought them, very briefly, a sort of review type things of each one, and uh, hopefully, in that 
within that sort of arena of doing those videos, I'll be able to explain and go through a few different things um, and just sort of try and convey a bit of my experience in this sport so far uh, and, and give some kind of consumer advice really for airsofters out there. But yeah, uh, that's my that's my one for tonight done. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you all shortly. Bye for now.